be fooled. A tough, tough unit that can box. He is very sweet on his feet while it lasts. Yeah, he blocks a lot of sun. And I'm sure he packs a bit of power too. Talented boxer. Nice job by Big Daddy. Maybe not a talented trainer. Or too cautious on his dietary needs. Big Chancy. 140 plus kilos. Very diplomatic, Mr. said Andy. Us chubby blokes. We, we, we can criticise each other. <laughs> Fair enough. The heads came together there slightly. Lucas Big Daddy Brown has got to just look to use the speed and work off that jab and get that nice right hand in. Round number one of 12, above 90.7 kilos or 200 pounds, 14 stone four, and that wasn't an issue for either guy. Big Lucas stands at six foot four, 193 odd centimetres. And already we can see the opponent, Welliver, moving into southpaw position. Left-handed, if you like. Yeah, he um, switched up pretty quick. But as you mentioned, a wealth, a wealth of experience in Big Daddy's corner with Jeff Fennick and Ricky Hatton. Speaking to Jeff during the week, and he spoke about stability at training and stability in the corner. What Lucas Brown has achieved to date, he has largely done on his own. Sure, he's had help but he hasn't had consistency. Whether you like Jeff or not, and there are those that put their hand up for both, I think this is a perfect match because Jeff's the fiery one. Mm. He'll get Big Daddy going. Lucas is a very quietly spoken, mm. uh, well-mannered. Um, well, yeah. It takes a bit to fire him up, mm. and Jeff can provide that. Well, Jeff's going to add a lot of value to Lucas Brown. I mean, I've trained with Jeff before, and, you know, he knows how to get a man fit, and he knows how to work and get the heart rate up. So, as a result, for the first fight, Lucas Big Daddy Brown is looking trimmer. He's a bit more patient. And let's see over the rounds what ring generalship has been added to his arsenal. But he, Jeff Fennick certainly won't hurt. Yeah, nice from Brown. A little wink there from Welliver. Well, about 400 professional rounds has never been stopped or dropped, should I say. Has never been knocked out or knocked down. Interesting statistic. So if you can achieve that, you're doing something. And we heard Jeff earlier comparing Lucas Brown's punching power to that of Iron Mike Tyson. That's something special. Oh, that's a big <laughs> statement. Last couple of seconds of the opening round. Go, go. Back to the corners we go after three minutes. Jeff Fennick telling Big Daddy Brown not to stay inside, and I tend to agree, but nice work there from Lucas Brown. Just touching him with the right hand Seconds out. and collecting some punches in return. Yeah, he's streamlined since previous bouts. Lucas Big Daddy Brown, he fought Andre Rodenko in August of this year over in Wolverhampton in the UK. He weighed in at 119.3. Tonight, he weighed in at 116.8. So just a, another three kilos or there, thereabouts off this giant chassis of his. Yeah, they're both big boys, and Lucas doesn't want to let Welliver lean on him because to push him off would take a lot of energy. 
Only had one fight in 18 months, Chauncey. That was February of this year. Now the opportunities, if they do present themselves, are going to come a little later. Nice right nice hand from right. Brown. Doubles up. Uppercut from Brown. Well, ever just nods and acceptance there. I'd like to see Brown just use that jab as more of a spear, really put it into his opponent before he goes in with the right hand. We heard in the introductions, Big Daddy Lucas Brown, first Aussie heavyweight to hold the Commonwealth title in over a century. Huge achievement. That's a great achievement. And considering this is only fight number 22 in his professional boxing resume, He looks very subdued, Big Daddy Brown, in, in how, how he's throwing his punches. He just seems to be kind of going through the motions right now. Oh, he's, he's, a, he's a thinker. Mm. He's calculated in what he does. I think he's naturally athletic, so he's good hand-eye coordination. Yep. He sees the punches coming pretty easily, pretty early. Yeah, he's very alert. You can see that. He used to work doors out at Western Sydney. It'd be a frightening prospect if you're misbehaving at two in the morning and having Big Daddy come at you, uh, asking you nicely to leave. I think that's actually where he met Ben Damon for the first time. <laughs> Lucas is touching him there on the inside. I'd like to see Lucas take half a step back and throw things like that, that beautiful left up there. At that angle, work off the jab, straight right hand, lovely. Oh, a good straight right hand from Brown. Followed with a nice left hook. It's not finesse that's going to beat Chauncey Welliver. It is just brute power. I agree. Chauncey up on his toes. A little excited late in round number two. Back in the he goes. Live from the Look at Big Daddy Brown just picking off Welliver there. Nice right hand. Welliver nodded in acceptance. Nice right uppercut, but. As mentioned, I'd like to see Big Daddy Brown just take half a step back and work off that nice hard jab. Straight right hand there from Big Daddy Brown again. A plethora of sports stars and business leaders here in attendance. A couple of Australia's former world champions. And current, if you like it like that as well. Sam Solomon and Saki Obika. Just a few of the faces, the familiar ones. Here at the High Sense Arena, this is the heavyweight division. Lucas Big Daddy Brown in the wide trunks. Chauncey Welliver in the black. Chauncey, a switch hitter. Respect that he changes from orthodox to southpaw regularly throughout the course of a fight. He seems hell-bent on fighting Lucas Brown as a left-hander. He does. I don't think that's um, troubling Big Daddy Brown, though, too much. Nice right hand. And more power with the right hand from Lucas Brown. Just a taste for Chauncey. As we said earlier, 400 rounds. Never been dropped. He'll be the first man to do that in some 69 pro fights would be quite the achievement. Former K1 superstar Slam and Sammy Greco in the house as well. Could be a fight that gets ugly real quickly, this one. Absolutely. If the leaning starts, then it could get very ugly. 
But Brown is touching him nicely on the outside, using his jab, using his uppercut, using the body shot, using the right hook. So he's got all the right combination of punches. I just um, like him to take an extra step into those shots and add a bit more power. Looking for a work rate lift here from Lucas Brown is Jeff Fennick and the boys out of the blue corner. That little exchange took its toll on Chauncey. Maybe Big Daddy Brown, knowing that Welliver has gone, never been stopped, is just buying his time for a bit of distance and extra rounds. Try and try and fatigue Chauncey first before you you drop him. Yeah, that right hand is using it as a lead right hand, yep. Lucas Brown. It's finding home, but really no great effect on on Welliver at this stage. Well, he's a big rock, isn't he? It's going to take a lot to move him. Nice right hand. When Lucas throws the right and it connects, you can hear a thud echo around the high sense arena, all four corners. In round three. Three rounds down and Welliver marked up underneath the left eye. Our last moment just had a hip button. Okay. Which one is that? You hit him a right hand whenever you want. But you better catch him when he hands it down and he's open on the dish. That's where that speed is for He coach a little bit and bang! Come on, get him feet to the right position. He just got from a little bit far loose. Everything just nice. No, he does nothing. Lucas Brown cut over the left eye. Chauncey Welliver cut underneath the left eye. Brown ball. They touch him up with big smiles. With big smiles. The round number four. The heavyweight fight that I guess Australia and Australasia want, wanted and wants to see still is Lucas Brown and Alex Leopold. Unfortunately for the Lionheart, a defeat on the judges' scorecards to Malik Scott, the American, just a couple of weeks ago up there in Brisbane. Looks like Big Dad Brown's got a cut over his left eye there. Yeah, but hopefully we, at some stage, we'll see Lucas Brown, Alex Leopi. I know there has been suggestions of it. I don't know how serious either camp has been in official talks. But unfortunately, it's a fight I don't think we will see. We heard a lot about Lucas Brown and Solomon Hamona too at some point. Yeah. Oh, good domestic, nice right hand bang, there. Bang, bang. Great right hand. Just shakes his head. <laughs> He's probably seen a few of them before. His pants are going to fall down. Stop the fight, please. Please <laughs> leave them up. <laughs> oh. Lucas with the hands down a little and he just keeps pushing out that right hand he's using it as a lead punch a lot lucas brown he's yeah. had success with it but really hasn't buckled the knees at all of of Welliver. not at all i mean this is going to be like chopping down a tree with Welliver. you're not going to get him with one punch it's just, exactly just keep slugging away but as you noted lucas is using his right hand very well as a lead punch is going to the body on chancy a real option or is he too bulky if you want to be nice about it to have any genuine impact i think it is i think it is a good option because you know he's, he's got ribs under there and big daddy but they're not actually punch but they're a long way under <laughs> but if he generates enough power he i think the head punches are working well andy let's stay up there eh? yeah chauncey's left eye is all but shut already yeah 
they've done a good job on the cut of Lucas Brown in between rounds because that started in round number three. Oh, nice right hand. Again, a big shot and Chancey acknowledges that. What he lacks in fitness, she more than makes up for in in guts and also very nice hands when he does let them go. Yeah, I mean, he knows his way around a boxing ring, obviously, you know, and his, his physique belies his ability. And a round four. Crowley, what do you Simmons Times? We are in it together. Three. Just, he's 20 times more tired than you. You're letting him, every time you do some good, you're giving him a little break chance. My right hand's starting to hurt. Yeah, you're right. it but you're, I hurt you. Yeah. Oh, well, I've got that good man, Lucas. Just make them all. Give him a hook him, but hook him hard, Lucas. Hook him hard. Yeah. Get your body, come on. Well, I've got to say, every time you get with you, he's right. First thing he's doing, he does that. Just make him a little more. Jeff's a good motivator, giving Lucas Big Daddy Brown a lot of good advice to follow up. Lucas is landing great right hands, as you can see. But he's calling for the left hook afterwards. Seconds out. Interesting the response from Lucas Brown, saying mm. my, my hands are starting to hurt. Mm. And I would, I would say it's that right hand that has marked up Chauncey Welliver's face. Brown. The lead right hand that he keeps throwing. It's... No reason why. It isn't hurting. He has thrown a heap of them. Mm. And they've been big, big shots. And hands and the fragile bones within them can only take so much. Agreed. If you catch someone on the top of the head, it can be quite, quite painful. Lucas Big Daddy Brown with tats all over the back. He's certainly not the only one with tats in the building here tonight. It could be going for a... Guinness Book of World Record for most artwork congregating in the one place at the one time. Well, about back against the ropes and Brown charging in. No, no, I'm okay. No, 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 no. Dumped him with his eye. Okay, I'm okay. 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 He, he can't see out of that no, left no, eye, and that was the first sign that Chauncey's had enough. Mm. Says a lot when somebody turns the back like that. In his last fight, he retired at the end of round number five due to an arm injury. Nice right hand by Big Daddy Brown. Oh, doubling up the right hand. They are brutal. He doesn't want to be there, Oliver. No. But he also doesn't want to be dropped in his 69th fight for the first time. I wonder if at the end of this round, because he's already looking at the big screens here to check the timepiece to see how much longer in the round. Mm. I just wonder if they retire him in the corner at the end of this round. It would not surprise me in the slightest. A fair question. Lucas Brown's right hand would appreciate it. <laughs> well, of a turning Brown. He doesn't look steady on his feet though, whatever, well, and his face tells a grim story. And he's just getting tagged at the oh, nice right right hand. Maybe his best of the night. Brown really opening up on Welliver here. He's going for the kill now. In complete control and would love to be the first man to break, drop break, 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 break. the big American. Inside the final 30 seconds of round number five. I'd be stunned if we see round six. Yeah, this is Big Daddy Brown's most dominant round by far. And Welliver in a wall of hurt in the corner, but he connects with a left hook at the end of that. He's eating a plethora of right hands. Do we box him? Do we bring him? Can you see out of that left eye? Huh? Can you see out of that left eye? What? He can't see, can he? Finish? Dr. Well, Peter Lewis in the ring. For a minute. Yeah, at the end of that minute.
Peter Lewis in the corner there. And I think Chauncey was basically saying to the doctor and the ref, yes, it's time to stop it. Yeah, I believe that was the case. Fight is over. No, it's not your fault, mate. You've got, you could have a fracture in there. It's that tender. Huh? The referee in consultation with the doctor has called this off. Fearing a fracture in the eye socket and cheekbone of Chauncey Welliver. And Chauncey didn't want to go on either. He had had more than enough. Lucas Brown has now 22 fights, 22 wins, and 19 of them inside the distance. Brown pushing Welliver back, landing a plethora of right hand, as previously mentioned. I mean, Welliver really didn't want to be there. You can see the story written all over his face. Lots and lots of punches landing at will. Lovely right hand turned up a cut there. That eye will take some time to open. Hopefully by Christmas for Chauncey. As we go centering to Perry. Ladies and gentlemen, our referee Fabian Guggenheim puts a stop to this contest at the end of round five. And now the new WBC Euro Asia Pacific Boxing Council and WBA Intercontinental Head of the Week champion and still undefeated from Australia, Big Daddy Luku. Lucas Brown victorious and he did it in style over 